get some arrows in your head. Obliterated. Well, hello, Shelly Rocks. Here's a quick little look at a new game that's come out. This is a game called Salt and Sacrifice. It's by Scar Studios. Uh, the overview for this game made me want to play it. So, as a marked inquisitor, you'll journey through the western frontier, pursuing hunting and obliterating the mages that roam the realm. Craft weapons and armor from the otherworldly flesh and bones of the mages. So, it's a game for all family. Okay, Shelly Rocks is ready to go. Let's go. We're going to create me a character now, so I can be a, an assassin, a cleric, fighter, duelist, high blade, palabit, palabin, paladin, ranger, or sage. Now, what do they? What does that entail doing though with these? Because they look like they've got some of them like they've got similar weapons. I don't have a clue what is going to be good, but I'm going to go on assassin because assassin's cool, and we sculpt through the shadows. Uh, my crime, um, blasphemy. My body type, masculine. My ancestors, ancestor, ancestry is going to be dusk. My eye colour, I'm going to leave that as silk. No, gold, yes. My hair, what hair? I am bald, I look like a vampire. Okay, I'm going to venture forth. Yes. Bald, bald head. Gold eyes. I am condemned. For the crime of blasphemy, the realm's ultimate penalty awaited me. But there is another way to become a marked inquisitor. I drank the mage bane. I spoke the words. My, my jailer brings me to the western frontier where whispers of mages. Okay, and I now live only to hunt mages. That is an impressive horse. Come on. Oh. Whoa, I think we're finding mages. Yeah. Def yeah, there's definitely mages this way. Okay, left and right to move. I can press B and I can do something to him. Okay, I've... What have I done? I've ripped out his... Okay. Um, yeah, I think I've just ripped out his spine. Um, changing equipment. Okay, um, so I've got throwing knives. Is it going to tell me how to do any of this, or are we just going to have to figure it out as we go along? Okay, so I've got to jump. Now, what are these? Hello. Hello, good people. Okay. That's, that's, um... Yeah. Okay, don't, don't be sneaking around me like that. Slice, 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 slice and dice. Okay. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun. I thought I killed it, and I didn't kill it. Okay, right trigger is roll, left trigger is block. I have no health. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to block you. Now, what, what are the instructions then? Range combat. Uh, left button is ready. Okay. Oh, now he runs off. Look, now he... Okay. Okay, that's not... <laughs> what, what are we doing? There we go. Get get some of that. Rap scallion. Okay, I, I'm assuming I can jump up here, yes. Oh, so you just press A while holding the, the direction. Okay, and we can drop by pressing down like that. I'm not too keen on the uh the arrow thing. I suppose I'll get used to it, but Okay. Wall jump, yeah. Standard. Standard in a lot of games, that. Okay. Um Get some arrows in your head. Obliterated. Now, I'm hoping this is the intro and we're going to die and respawn because if that is the first boss in a game, that is ridiculous. Oh, okay. Panic over. Thank the gods you're stirring. Spell marked but stirring, so the Mage Bane right succeeded. Belial herself must have been watching over you when you encountered the beast in the woods. It was pure luck that stable hand bet Bren was nearby. You were on death's doorstep. He brought you back to Pardoner's Vale. Fortunately, I was able to nurse you back to health. You may call me Herbalist Shenna. I am the healer at Pardoner's Vale. Here, take this half and flask. Quaff it the next time you are injured. Perhaps you have questions. Let's talk then. I've been here for three hexens and a day, and I'm not sure what to make of Pardoner's Vale. Inquisitors arrive, but not in the numbers that are needed. Inquisitors also disappear, and not in the numbers that give me peace. Okay, so what's this flask? 
So I'm a herbalist and a healer, and I'm as skilled as they come at crafting flasks from Valley Herb. If you find any shimmering bud in the valley, it can aid you in improving the potency. Ooh. Okay, so who's Belial? The name of the gods have fallen from our tongues. It's no surprise to hear a trained mage hunter ask about Belial. Belial is a god of healing, wind. It is said that she draws flies from the sick into a, an urn filled with magical oil where they become butterflies. <laughs> okay. So what's the, what's the spell mark then? What's this? You would have died in these woods if not for the ritual you undertook. The region is polluted with warped magic, but as a benefit, those who have undergone the rite can stave off death becoming spell marked. There is a way to atone yourself for the spell mark and return to life. Okay, so I'm not actually alive. Uh, it requires a rare item known as a guiltless shard. The corrupted mages and their minions have a crystallizing effect on whatever purity remains. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go and do hunt mages. Stay in good health, Inquisitor. Okay, goodbye, friend. Here I go. Pardon this veil. Okay. Are you friendly? By Taranen's hand, you're awake. I'm Warp Smith Zakiel, but you can call me Zack. Okay, I can craft equipment, apparently. Uh, but I need to hunt mages to get the equipment. Right. What does this thing do, then? Enhancing, enhance equipment. Um... I, I'm assuming I need to collect stuff first before I can, I can do all this shenanigans. I'm just I'm just looking at this um this this thing up here. Look, doesn't that look tempting? Like I can jump up. Um, I don't know how to jump though. Let's go and talk to you. You are Shirley Rocks, I trust. I am Champion Hera. I'm technically in charge here at Pan Pardoner's Vale. I do my penance here just as you do. You must embark at once to Ashbourne Village, but do so you must first speak to the Rune Reader. Descend the stone steps to the west until you reach a cat. Then descend more stone steps east until you reach the pond. Then... Sp okay. What's this way, then? Apart from spooky... Um... Thing... Hello, Inquisitor. My name is Trista. I am a verdant voice. Okay. So what can I do? Um, I can upgrade if I have stuff, but I've not got stuff. So let's just go. Let's go west. I reckon I can get a whip or something and get that. Okay, open supplies. It's empty. Great supplies. Ooh, we've got some berry, berry bush stuff. Some valley herb. Right, it does not open from this side. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm ass okay. I was about to say I'm assuming I go down the stairs, and I've just seen collectible things. Yes. I don't know what these things even are, but we're having them. Right, yes. Is there anything to collect? No. Okay, that's the mound. I think I, it said I had to go right down. That looks like it's um, maybe the way to get to the next area. Can we quickly jump? Nope. Go on, jump. There you go. Right, so we've got to sp speak to someone down here, I think. It said the cat. That is not a cat. That is a deer. That is not the animal you're looking for. Um, Did it say go down and then go east? I think it might have done. Come on, I'm looking for a big scary cave thing. What is that? Um, it's enough a dead end. That's got to be a slidey thing, that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready to enter the mirror gate? Uh, no. I understand your hesitation, but we must do what we must. I'm called Rune Reader Diadella. I am the keeper of the mirror gate. The war magic has begun to poison these woods, rending travel by land nearly impossible. But the mirror gate can lead us right to those cruel and twisted mages. It's activated by arcane words spelled in runestone. As a mark inquisitor, you must always be seeking new runestones. I can share a word of runestone with you. Travel to Ashbourne Village. Choose the rune from the basket and step into the light. Well, I guess we are going then. Um, I'm going to Ashbourne Village. Luckily, I do not have to enter... 
do the rooms, I don't think. Come on. Oh, no, I have to type it. I mean, I know this is lazy of me, but I seriously have to type this in. Right, so it's um, squiggly x uh, x uh, ne n for Nigel and uh, h for hotel. There we go. Into, into, into the passage. Go on. Oh, it's been teleported. So hopefully this is like a village we've got to clear out now. Um, what's that? Obelisk. Regain health and focus. Replenish all. Okay, we don't we don't need to do that just yet because I want to I want a slicey dicey thing. Okay, here they, here's them things again. Right. Do you reckon we can um? Can we? Do you reckon we can cob uh a dagger at them from a distance? <laughs> Go on, slice, 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 slice. Yes, 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 yes. Right, they were looting this. So let's go and loot it ourselves. Me health's not gone fully up either, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, who are you up there? I mean you no harm. Okay, I'm facing the wrong way. Come on. <laughs> yes. Right, this looks like a bit I can go in. Let's go in. Ooh, it's the root sealed cavern. Uh, yes. Look at that. What? You're not meant to be able to climb after me. What's a bat? Is that, is that the bat after me? Get away. Ain't got time for no bats. Okay. Death from above. <laughs> yeah, my death from above. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, that so looked like there was a secret going that way. Okay. I ain't got time for arrows. Um, Let's keep going to the right. I think there's some more... Some more. Whoa! Did you see? Get away with you! How fast he was then? Okay. Bashy, bashy. What did we get then? Okay. They're really fast. I think we looted everything there, so we're gonna go. I guess we just we need to keep going down. Ooh, is this an entrance? Ooh, okay. So this took me right outside. I feel like there's more to do in there, though. All right, let's let's do rest and resupply. There we go. Got me health back a little bit now. Oh, this is a charming little village. Look. Okay. Uh, okay. It's Eurekis Necklace of Ears. I'm just. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Come on. This isn't cricket. <gasps> it's so hard. I'm obliterated. And now we go back to all the way to that start again. Oh, we go back to that bit. Oh, it's hard. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So if you want to see some more, leave me a, a little uh, note in the comments. But it's it's a uh, it's interesting. It's it certainly seems good about the fact that there's different characters. So there's going to be different moves and stuff like that. But yeah, it's definitely. It looks like there's a game that you maybe have to die several times. Anyway, this has been Salt and Sacrifice. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you did, you know what to do. Show your appreciation. And I'll see you next time.